Hi, this is Stefan from Byte the Bytes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Mask in World Creator. Okay, masks are located here on the mask layers. You will have to add a mask in order to use it first. Um, mask can be renamed by double clicking it. You can give it any name you want. Um, mask can be made visible or invisible. In this case, this mask is entirely empty. So if I click here on the fill button, you will see how the mask looks like. The show mask uh, makes it visible or not. And you can also use this slider to adjust a little bit the colors to make it better for visibility reasons. Now you can erase, you can paint, you can smooth, you can clear a mask and all these things. Um, we're just going to cover a very, very basic thing with a mask. Actually, it's, it's the most common thing you would do in Word Creator um, by editing this mask. So first, I'm going to clear it entirely. I'm going to mark a few things here on the mask so you can see what's going to change when I'm applying that mask to a filter or to a material. Now I've painted the, this mask here. I'm going to click here on Stop Edit. I'm going to add a filter. For example, let's take the sediment flows. And now I'm just going to drag and drop that mask on top of that filter. And you will see that this mask now only covers the parts that I've painted and the filter is taking that mask to apply its algorithm. Um, you can do also with that um, applied mask, you can also of course switch anything here, quickly see how they would look like and all these things. You can also go into the mask again Click here and edit and let's clear it out. Let's make it invisible. And yeah, you can start drawing your own filters into the terrain using that mask. Um, the same technique would also work for materials. I'm going to remove, uh, to remove the filter here and let's add a material. Let's take a simple color. Let's give it, um, yeah, let's give it like this here and use now that mask again with the drag and drop, drop it on the material has been applied immediately. Then again, you can use that to paint on the terrain and all these things. Um, you can add as many masks as you want. We'll give you another example. Let's take another material. Let's apply this mask to this material. Click here on edit and start painting. Um, well, that's actually all about mask and world creator. You can categorize them, you can delete them by simply dragging them out or hit the delete key. Yeah, and they are pretty interesting to use and give you um, yeah, everything you need if it's more about uh, very specific design capabilities or design things that you need to do. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day and stay safe.